Hi everyone, today I'm going to show you how to do a very annoying job um, that often happens and um, it's when you go to do a job indoors on your plumbing system, either hey, you you uh, got a tap leaking or something, or you're going away on holiday and you need to turn the water off before you go. Here's the humble stock cock uh, and you go to turn it and it's solid. You, you just can't turn that spout like that, it's supposed to turn nice and easy, but you find your one under the sink is a solid, you just can't turn it. What are you going to do about it? There is a couple of things we can do, uh, and I'm going to show you um, what you can do. The usual place every stop tap seems to be these days is under a horrible sink like this. So I'm going to show you what you can do to try and do something about this position when you've got a seized up stop cock. This often happens in hard water areas, London and Kent, the chalk and lime scale gets a grip on the internal gubbins of the thing and stops it from moving. So let's come down now and have a look in the cupboard. This is the usual position that most stock cocks are in. Now if you can see there, I'm shining a torch on it. There's mine, it's an old fashioned job, uh, 1960s, you know, with a drain valve built into the tap. Um, you don't often see these anymore, so you know it's a, a really old job. And what happens is this tap gets very tight and you can't budge it, it's just gone solid. There's a couple of things you can do. Now, me, I like a pair of footprints like this. And what I like to do, and I know how much to give it, I know this is one of those things I'm a plumber. I'll put it on the top of the tap and just turn it a quarter of a turn. But before you do that, there's one thing to help help ease this tap off is to loosen this packing box there's a packing box on there if you've got a spanner like this you can get it on there and just slacken it off half a turn okay like so now it will start dripping but don't worry about it leave your water on when you do this because you won't know when you've got the, the water off to the tap so if if you turn the water off outside because you're worried about this leaking um, you won't actually be able to tell until you've done it quite a few turns it is actually off so I tend to leave the water on it's not going to come flying out of there and it's not going to break unless this whole tap turns out and then you see water well obviously you've got to turn it off out the front now, normally this never undoes at this socket here because it's very very tight indeed um, but if you are at all worried obviously do turn it off out the front first but this is what I normally do, so I loosen that half a turn, like I've just shown you, a pair of footprints, and put it on the top, and just turn it a touch like that. Mine's loose already, okay, because it isn't tight. Um, but go as far as you can without breaking the top off, and then turn it back again, okay, back to where it was, okay, and then give it another turn, and you might be able to get it a bit further, and then back again okay and then go again and as you've got to keep this process going until eventually that tap starts to turn down to its thread now when it starts to go down you may find it just break it cracks easily and you can turn it after that now by leaving your cold tap on above the sink you can tell when you've got the water off which is why I say to leave the water on out the side um, so you'll know it's gone off because the tap will stop running and you know you've got it now a lot of people said to me well why can't I put some oil down here well I can tell you that oil is of no use whatsoever I'm tightening this gland back up just to show you how easy it is to stop the leak again okay just put your spanner back on there and tighten him back up now not too much just the right amount and you'll feel that like that tap now it just feels right you can just feel it's not too loose it's not too tight and now that tap is working again sometimes I say all you need to do is give it that first push like that and you'll find you can do it with your hand other times it doesn't it is really solid and you've got to do that method that I've just showed you turn it a little bit that way back turn it a bit more that way back and turn it a bit more that way and back until it goes off leave your cold tap running on the sink and you know when you've got it because the cold tap will stop running okay so that's that's my usual method of doing it in position so what to do if it completely the top snaps off um, or you just can't get anywhere with it now another thing you can do if you're worried about the top breaking off you can use a pair of these which is Stilson's um, and put them on the thread on the, sorry on the um, spindle and turn it um, that's another way of doing it if you're worried about breaking the top off okay or some people use 
water pump pliers again on the thread there, round there. So I'll push above the thread to the, the gland on the nut if you're worried about breaking the tap off. But the thing is, if the handle breaks anyway, the tap's still no good. If it's solid, there's nothing to lose because um, it's broken anyway, it doesn't work. So if, in my opinion, I'd sooner just try and get it off with the, these on the top of there as I've shown you. What to do if it's broken and it's solid? Okay, right, I'll show you something now. Um, if it is solid and you can't do anything, there's a couple of routes you can take. So if you want to come out of the cupboard with me now, and I'll show you a stopcock. Okay, now here is our humble stopcock. What I suggest you do is go and buy one of these, they're not very expensive. Okay, get one from your local plumber stores and crack it at this position here with a spanner. I'll get my spanner out of the cupboard, ready? Okay. and I've undone this one ready just to show you and crack it there okay now once you've done that you can turn this out right and there is our washer that's our ceiling washer and there's a the washer to our tap and there's the internal what has happened to your stopcock is that this thread has seized up so if I just show you that part Okay, see the bit there that is turning? That is corroded inside the body of that tap. So there's a couple of things you can do. If you, if you want to crack this off, the tap inside the cupboard, make sure you turn the water off outside this time, because obviously you will be under light pressure. Undo the tap inside and get it out. Uh, also another thing to watch when you do undo this tap is be very careful when you crack it down, you don't break the pipe work either side. It's sometimes best to have a spanner on there when you crack it. Once it goes, it will come out easily. Now there's one or two things you can do. You can buy a new stopcock, which I would be a good policy. They're not very dear. And you may find this thread fits in the old body of the old stopcock in the cupboard. So you might find there's your old stopcock in the cupboard that this fits exactly and job done. Tighten it back in and you've got a working stopcock. All right, so it's well worth trying. If it doesn't, then another thing worth trying, once you've got your old one out, if you pretend this is the old one, you can then use oil. You can use oil in there, um, the usual stuff, you know, to try and free that up uh, and squirt it down there. And some people even lay it in a pool of oil overnight in the fact that the oil might get down that thread and free it. And once again, once you start it moving, um, you, can, you can do it. And also you can put it in a vice then, if you have a vice in your garage, and really get some movement on there. Okay, and once it gets moving, once again, you might have a working stopcock back. So at the very worst, you can't get it out of the body's solid in the tap, in the cupboard. So what do you do? The handle's broken off. Uh, you can't get it to turn whatsoever. Well. There's one other thing you can still do, it buy a new stopcock. Now I'm going to show you a little drawing here on the table, uh, if you point this down to here. Um, now here's our rising main, our stopcock. Um, if like under my cupboard, I've just shown you, it'd be very difficult to renew that tap. Because the thing is as well, if you used to undo these nuts, if I show you these nuts here, they might not be the same thread as that. So those nuts might not go onto this new stopcock. They might not fit. So it's not going to be as easy as you think. Um, because they, they won't marry up. Now a lot of people, and, and this is some plumbers won't do it because it's sort of bad practice really, but if it's very awkward this stopcock to renew in the position it's in and you're not sure the nuts on there are going to fit the nuts on here, then just saw the handle off and stick your stopcock here further up in a more accessible position so it's up the pipe somewhere else I know it, it's kind of bad practice to leave an old stopcock there but if it's not working it's jammed open in a fully on position it's not going to hurt anything uh, and then you have your tap further up your nice new tap because all you've got to do then is cut the pipe there and there and put your olives on and do it up and you've got a new tap to replace this solid one and that's a way around it okay uh, and that is the only easy way if you do have to renew the tap but do try all those methods first normally they always work usually once you crack this spindle um, it does free up and get going so there you are that's um, an easy way um, to try and fix the old good old humble stopcock if yours is seized up solid do try those methods first all right that's it from me uh, Derek and 33 all my videos thanks very much for watching